Sufi here. I'm here to share with you my personal favorite hacks that I have personally tried and tested and they have proven to work. So these two hacks will help you prevent blisters. Stay tuned! First hack that I want to share with you is this. This is the Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. This is really amazing guys because unlike creams and lotions, this does not get completely absorbed into your skin and what it does is that it leaves this greasy residue which then acts as a protectant between the shoe and your skin. So there is no way blisters can form because there is this protective layer. All right. So no matter how much it rubs against the shoe, it will, blisters will not form. All right. So if throughout the day you, you realize that hmm, you need to apply a bit more because it's getting really warm outside or you feel that you want extra protect, protection, then just put this on. All right. Usually for me personally, what I'll do is I will wear this, I'll apply it generously on my uh, toes especially because I tend to get blisters at the top, especially if I were to wear heels. So what I'll do is I'll just rub this generously at the top, my toes, okay? And then we, um, and then for excess um, petroleum jelly on my hand, what I usually do is I'll take a piece of tissue and I'll just really rub off the excess. And then the rest, I'll just let it be so that it can make my hands beautifully moisturized. Okay? Now, one thing that I would really recommend you not do is to wash your hands with water immediately after applying Vaseline because it will just leave your hands with this gooey mess, okay? So remember, it's, it's greasy, therefore it makes it really amazing as a protectant for blisters, all right? Now, um, if you've ever heard people recommending you, for example, to take candle and to rub it on your skin or to use creams and lotions, okay? I suggest that you put that on, put that on hold first and try this because what happens to all the other methods is that it's either too dry, for example, the wax, it's too dry. And number two, the other creams and lotion, it just gets absorbed into your skin and then it serves no other purpose except to moisturize your skin. So you want something that will have many different purposes, such as this Vaseline Petroleum Jelly. Okay, now, another concern that I know most of you have is that what if you were to wear two tissues with this? Okay, will your leather, your lambskin leather actually get spoiled? No, it won't be ruined. Um, in fact, if you were to put this, you put a, layer, a very, very thin layer on the outside, it helps to condition your leather. All right, so this serves so many functions. It moisturizes your skin, it acts as a protectant for blisters, it helps you to break in your new shoes if you know there are any potential problem spots that you want to tackle. And it also helps as a conditioner for your leather. Okay, so I think it's it's really a miracle product and you definitely should get it. You can get it anywhere from drugstores or pharmacies or your local stores. So check that out. The second hack that I want to share with you is this. This is the amazing shipping tape. Everything's amazing because I've tried them. This is a shipping tape or also known as packing tape. This is definitely different from your normal transparent cellophane tape that you can find at like normal stationery stores, okay? It's different because the adhesive is way stronger for this one. So what happens is, let's see, like this, right? So what you want to do is just to take a bit like that, perhaps, and put it at your back counter at the back where you know you will, you will have blisters. For example, shoes that are hard, shoes that are made from very stiff materials and it digs in, try this, okay? When you flex, when you perspire the entire day, it will still stay on. So you need to get the right tape. Okay, remember shipping tape or packing tape, not cellophane tape. There's something that you might want to take note of before you actually put this on. Because if you already have existing open wound or very, very, very dry skin, sensitive skin, then maybe you think twice or you may want to try on a discreet spot, small spot, and try to remove it gently. See if it's okay. All right, because unlike plaster, this is tape. So the adhesive is all around. There's no like padding whatsoever. But if your skin is fine, everything's fine, and you try this method, trust me, it will work wonders. 
Okay, so give those hacks a try and let me know how it works for you. Alright, thanks for watching!